Hello there everyone, how's it going? It's City here and this is going to be another arena commentary video where I will try to explain as much as I can what's going on in some interesting matches we had. So I'm with the my usual comp which is an Affliction Warlock, a Holy Paladin and myself as Arms Warrior and we're facing a Shadow Priest, Arms Warrior, Resto Shaman comp. So as you could see in the beginning they tried to stop my Warlock's gateway and I was able to succeed with to stop it with a charge, which is very very important, is that your Warlock friend lands the gateway. So, my main focus right here, which is a Shadow Priest, disperses, so I'm just gonna switch and try to peel a little bit for my Warlock with some disarms and just some pressure overall. But as soon as my main focus uh, just, you know, is able, to, uh, is able for me to attack again, I'm just gonna go there. Shadow Priests are are a class that can do a lot of pressure but they are easily countered if you're j if you just stick with them and try to interrupt as much as I can specifically like uh, mind blast something that creates orbs so this is my main focus is trying to not is trying to put the shadow priest out of the game so I tried to land a fear right here on the on the shaman but somehow it's immune probably because my warlock friend already did a couple of fears so the, the, I just try to, I'm just getting a lot of fears going on, but I'm still trying to go, I'm training the fuck out of this Shadow Priest, honestly. This is what I like to do, and this is, was what changed the game completely. So, they got knocked back, and the Shaman just decides to go, actually their whole team decides to pull off because of this knockback. I think they really, really, you know, moved with their heads or something, I don't know, but it was a very good move from my Warlock, which, is, which was the Shivara knockback. And uh, yeah, this was completely changed the game. So right here, I see the Manatee totem, and he's pretty much Hume. So I just decide to go there, and yeah, exactly, try to kill the totem as much as I can. And I just, I just see that my Holy Paladin landed the stun, and this is the time to kill everybody without trinkets. So here we go. I just say, and we just switch to the Shaman, pop some cooldowns, and the match was over by a simple, simple process which just was the knockback which completely changed the game over so definitely a very interesting match. Okay, so right now we're facing an announcement shaman, a Destro Warlock and a Discipline Priest. This is not specs that you see uh, as much at least together but it was definitely they played really nicely and it was definitely a very interesting match. So the plan here is just focus a warlock. That's the main focus it's just Focus the Warlock and uh, try to stop as much Chaos Bolt as possible and stick with the Shaman, which are fairly squishy. So, but I already did a mistake if you guys noticed. I let the Warlock just free cast the goddamn Demonic Gateway. Because I was training the Shaman so much, uh, I, it was easily stoppable, but I, I just wasn't paying that much of attention. So, right now I'm gonna get feared. Uh, and I, he's going to land the Chaos Bolt on me in a few, which is very, very good. Um, strategy. I shockwave the second Chaos Bolt and right now this one I'm going to reflect it. So as you see my main concerns are just going to be for the uh, for the Chaos Bolt right here. So I'm just getting rude. I, I instantly safeguard and stick with the Shaman. That's the plan. Just stick with the Shaman. But because I'm so goddamn focused on the uh, Warlock I just you know, decide to switch to him because it's taking a lot of my brain activity. So I, so I just Swap to the Warlock. Uh, I get feared right now and in, with the grip. So I see him casting Chaos Bolt and I just reflect, panic reflect, but it wasn't on me so I couldn't not reflect. It's actually, it's interesting if you actually choose the Mass Spell Reflection over Safeguard in this kind of comps, but because of the Earth, uh, the Shaman with the roots and such, I just decided to stick with the Safeguard, but you know, it worked out, so definitely good. So. The Warlock is getting really really low right here, he, he, I'm, I'm tr I tried to interrupt some uh, fears and I blanket silencing him with Disrupting Shout and I'm going to pummel this one so successfully, you know, did not, he was not able to fear for at least two times, I'm just gonna Zerker this one and I'm rooted again, this time with no safeguard so I'm just staking the whole route. Because it's a Zestral Warlock and I'm very very scared of them, I just immediately spell reflects and it wasn't really necessary so... Uh, this was kind of a mistake because you know a future chaos bolt may land because of, of my not uh, not having the um, the spell effect. So we just switch to the priest right here. I stun him. He's getting really really low. I can blanket silence him on this penance, and uh, he's just kiting me really good right now. And I just decide to go a little bit and charge him to get a little more rage and 
decide to apply the pressure and whatnot. So right now he actually life swaps to the warlock, which is actually a very nice thing. So I, we just hard swap to the warlock, and I mean there's really no escape here. So we're just training the shit out of the warlock. The warlock kind of freaks out and pops his defensive cooldowns, but uh, er our heads are just focusing on him right now, and. Yeah, it just uses the ports and that's what it, this is the importance of getting the gateway guys. This is why you, it's very very important to just stop the gateway. As you see, he could actually, you know, get out from being killed because of the gateway. Because I had no mobility whatsoever, so I just decided to stick on the shaman really, it was the best thing to do. So right now I pummeled the shockwave, but it's still fairly low. The discipline priest has that literally no mana, so this is the time to actually try to score a kill. So that's what we're doing, we're just sticking with one target and, you know, trying to peel here and there with some focused CC. I can blanket silence the the Warlock with this disrupting shout, which leads to an execute, which was beautiful, beautiful man. Okay, so for the last match of this video, is gonna be versus a Red Paladin, a Disciplined Priest and a Frost Mage. I still have two kind of special matches that I really love. But I'm going to release them tomorrow, and uh, I, don't, I, don't, I think it, I'm going to put it with the original audio instead of commentary, but we'll see. Anyway, it doesn't matter for now, so let's just stick with the commentary. My Warlock just blends the gate, which is going to be very important, and the plan here is just to stick with the Frost Mage, because we, you don't really want to get the Frost Mage to free cast. So he blinks, and I'm going to stick with the Red until my charge pops in. And as you saw, as soon as my charge got in again, I charge him. But you know, while I didn't have it, I'm just gonna, st I will just stick with the retribution right here. So I can stop this polymorph and I pop a defensive cooldown, but my healer just freaks out because of my health and she bubbles the polymorph and I kind of pop all my defensive cooldowns right here. So this was really lack of communication on her behalf, but it's her good. So I, I can uh, fear this red and the priests and we decide to go for the priest right here. I get fear but I immediately zerk her no problem, I pummel this penance and shockwave the priest trying to get a little bit on the healer and right now we just just pop all the cooldowns on the healer he gets popped but no the hard swap was actually too hard and this was actually an interesting intense one of those short intense games. Uh, definitely a really interesting one so yeah guys this is gonna be the um, commentary for now like I said I still have two kind of matches clips that I'm going to release tomorrow that I really did enjoy it so yeah guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do a thumbs up or maybe even a subscribe will be absolutely awesome and amazing and you would be the best you would win the internet so yeah guys see you next